There we go. Oh, so we can get our things in these test drives. So, you know, we're going to be trying to do these door dives and stuff. What's up, everybody, and welcome back here to the channel. Torque Drift is here on the PC platform. I know a lot of you guys were saying a bunch of time when I said on the mobile platform. That's because PC version is here. I have access to the PC beta. I know a lot of people do, but Torque Drift gave me the okay to bring you guys some PC content. So that's why it looks a little bit different. We are here on the PC beta version via Steam. So I've been playing it a little bit. I am using my Xbox One Elite controller plugged in to my PC. So, basically a lot of the stuff is the same. You know, a lot of the things are the same when it comes to the sponsor tree and everything. And, you know, Evil Rabbit sponsor is still there. Still right there. Whoop. But, the interfaces are a little bit different, obviously, because it's on a PC. The garage is different when it comes to using a controller and ability to move around and buy parts and stuff like that and you know using the joysticks to track around the car so we don't have much because well we kind of just started but we do have a little bit of stuff so we're going to buy a lean CCU instant buy that we're just you know buying some essential parts for this um, s15 I hit the wrong button again so I definitely like the ability to use the controller. It's, you know, much easier for me to control the car with the controller than it is with uh, using the touch pads on my, you know, on my phone. So I do like the PC version. Obviously, it looks a little bit better, obviously, in, you know, full PC. So it does require a different you know style of uh gameplay when it comes to using controller but you know for people that play forza and stuff like that it's going to be much easier you know the ability to have break on a finger and you know just being able to have everything within grasp is what is very incredible and much appealing to me when it comes to this game here on pc so we're, we've been doing a little bit here we've been doing a little bit here and there so we're gonna go to Cali Banks freestyle because there's not many people on the beta so we can't really get into too many tandems so we're just gonna take a quick look at it and you know the driving characteristics and how it all works like I said we are on the Xbox one elite controller we do have manual gears and everything all set up we're at you know Cali Banks kick it in we're gonna e-break that in kick it in Feather throttle just for wall tap, but the ability to be able to left foot brake because I have it on my fingers, just like I would if I was driving, say, on console or anything like that, the wall tap. So the driving for me is much more fluid and much smoother because of the fact that I can actually left foot brake. I know a lot of people, oh, 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 a lot of people gave me crap on some of the videos about left foot braking instead of hand braking so much. But for me, on the mobile, it was just easier to handbrake than it was to try and reach my finger over to do left foot braking. But here on the PC version, well, I can do both. I can left foot brake like as much as I want. Ow. I can handbrake as much as I want. And I can do clutch kicks. Those very good clutch kick things just like that. That initiation was sweet. Those nice big clutch kicks and everything on those lines are able to be happen easier here on PC version with a controller. The game just runs smoother, I feel, personally. And it's still just a beta version. It's not even the full version. I know Torque Drift team is working on it to try and release the PC version sooner. Um, they have, uh, get, like I said, they gave me the okay. A big thank you to Torque Drift for being you know, a sponsor of the channel and sponsoring me and everything and allowing me to bring you guys this content. I know you guys wanted to see it, so you guys have been wanting to see PC and I said I had some uh, big things coming with Torque Drift in 2020 and that was this, the PC version. I can bring you guys content, I can bring you, you know, some of the ins and outs of the PC and, you know, you can see the difference when it comes to control and the way everything works on a controller. I know some people have PC version, the beta versions and stuff like that, and some people have brought out videos and stuff like that, but you know that 
Torchrift was like, yes, go ahead. You know, post it out there. Let people see it. So that's what we're here doing today. So if you guys want to keep seeing more on the PC side of Torchrift, let me know down in the comment section down below. Because I know a lot of people don't have it. So a lot of people are going to definitely want to see it and see what the ups and ups are going to be with this game coming to, you know, PC. So we definitely won in that grassroots. We're going to try and see if there's anybody... Oh, we can run the test drive. We can run a test drive with a with a pro car. That's a good way to do this. Let's do that. Let's do the S13 here. It looks so stunning. I like it. I, I just love how it looks here. And excited for it to come out fully. So let's see. We can do an a pro car. Oh. Initiate a little bit later than I should have so definitely could use some tuning on this car for sure there we go oh lock it up the front brakes though too much on the left foot brake there so it is gonna take a little bit of getting used to you know the physics and the characteristics of the game on PC but it's definitely better I feel the mobile is amazing. I love playing it, you know, when I'm not at home. But when I can sit in my chair, we're gonna re we're gonna retry that. When I can sit in my chair and just sit here and play on a controller and just chill out and have some fun, definitely a good, amazing thing. Definitely can't wait. Once the PC version comes out, you know, we'll be able to throw some open lobbies and stuff. Hopefully, with the PC side, and you know, I can just kick back and chill, not have to worry about my phone dying on me or getting too hot oh not getting too hot and able to just throw more and more live sessions out there because well I don't have to worry about it because it is on the PC side running lobbies will probably be a bunch easier and stuff like that so that was a little bit better of a lead I want to get a good lead so I can actually throw some chase in there so we're gonna try it one more time So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. If you guys, like I said, want to keep seeing this, let me know down in the comments. If you guys are part of the beta, let me know because, you know, I would be very interested to get some uh, tandems with some other beta users that may follow the channel and we can actually get some uh, some real, real in doubt tandems here in beta before it comes out full release. This is a much better lead. So we're going to actually take this and then we're going to try and chase this down. The smoke is just billowing. So much more smoke. Oh. So we did get some sponsors, which is a big thing. We need to get sponsors now. We are going to chase run that thing. Maybe we can get some door dives and get some more of our sponsors unlocked. There we go. Let's see if we can throw it in. There we go. First of PC actual tandems. Oh, there we go. Oh, so we can get our things in these test drives. So you know we're gonna be trying to do these door dives and stuff like that here to unlock more and more sponsors. There's another door dive. Two door dives and one clipping zones. So definitely gonna try that again Gonna try and redo that chase and see if we can't get a little bit closer in the chase position, but we need to bang another good lead run. So I know a lot of people are probably gonna be saying when the PC comes out, well, you know, what kind of PC specs and everything are needed. And I'm not entirely sure, you know, how high of PC specs, this is a very low line, but whatever, we'll, we'll chase it. What, you know, specs are gonna be really needed to play it. Um, I know this the PC I'm running now can obviously play because it can play a setup and everything like that but you know unsure about what caliber of PC will be needed to play it on you know very decent graphics and smooth you know those will probably find out more and more as the PC version comes out to be actually played so we're gonna chase this out and I think that'll finish this episode off in the chase here on Torque Drift on the PC platform. Oh, wrong gear. Now I know a lot of people, like I said, were giving me crap when I kept saying the mobile platform. Well, that's because there is another platform out there 
and it is right here and we are just door diving door dings oh quick flick there we go oh feather throttle it's so much easier to feather the throttle and adjust your line with a controller than it is on your fingers so definitely uh, could get a controller for the for the phone but why when I have it on PC definitely just got to start over and get all my cars and everything up so as always I think guys come back hope you guys enjoyed this look into the PC version of Torque Drift and as always I like thank you guys for watching I'm Evil Rabbit I'll see you guys on the track